have to admit it's going to be hard working with this view. First off, I want to thank everyone that has subscribed to our channel, liked our videos. We definitely appreciate the support. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. As always, I hope everyone's doing well. Stand positive. All right, let's jump right into it. This is the second part of this project. The first part you can check down below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit smash that like button. Greatly appreciate that. Now I'll be jumping in and out with the narration here, but this part here where we're putting up the back of this retaining wall, you can check out a link below and it goes into more detail on what it takes to put together the back of the retaining wall. So check that out. Of course, we're going to need you to watch this video, the whole entire video, helps out the algorithm with the YouTube, but after this video, check those links below and it gives you more detail on what it takes to build a retaining wall the right way. Well, as you can see, we're all over social media. Our links are below, so follow us there. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. What else they got? I got so many nowadays, but we're down there. Check us out. Now here, we're gonna be cleaning out the keyway. Well, here we have a keyway, which is part of the footing. Sometimes they put these keyways in so you don't have to do piers. Most piers are about 12, 14 feet, and the keyways kind of substitutes for that, depending on the soil. So check with your local engineer or your building department with that. That being said, this keyway is about three feet deep, one foot wide. This is one of those areas where the inspector just kind of really looks at. He wants to make sure that it's really clean, and it's really time consuming to clean it out as well. So we will have rebar in this keyway and it'll be uh, 10 inches on center number six. The footing for it is about five feet wide as you can see here, 18 inches thick, which is kind of standard for, for our footings. We will have a double mat rebar here, 10 inches on center with number six rebar. All right, now it's time to chop up some rebar. Again, we're using number six, 10 inches on center, but we did almost make that mistake and make it 12 inches on center, which is what we do probably 95% of the time. So there's another video where we're installing rebar, or we're gonna show you guys how we go about installing rebar. You can check that video out down below after you check this video out. Greatly appreciate that. Again, while you're down there, be sure to smash that like button. It does help out with the YouTube algorithm here. Again, this is number six rebar, 10 inches on center, and we ended up using about one ton of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right, so here's a quick look inside the wall. Here you got the WTH. Now the eight stands for eight inches. So if you want this wall to be 10 inches, it'd be a WT10. In the back here is the wedge. This holds the WT8 together so the wall won't open up. We've been very fortunate that we haven't had any walls open up as we pour. So now it's time for us to close up the front. Now we do have another video where I go into detail what it takes to close up the front of a retaining wall. You can check that down below. Later on, it might be above us. Now we made this little template, I like to call it. And what, what this does is it allows us to make sure our wall is exactly eight inches. This is the only part that's not in the other video. So I just wanna bring that up to you guys in case we got any do-it-yourselfers out there just trying to make it happen. If you decide to do this retaining wall by yourself, which is somewhat doable, but you gotta have the right team, the right experience. Because once you start setting it up and anything happens, you know, it's, it's excuse my language, but it's gonna be a bitch trying to fix it. So take your time. If for you do it yourself was out there, I had a couple guys leave a comment, said they're gonna tackle the project themselves. Um, we got a crazy blog on our website. You can check that out at allaccessconstruction.net and you can see the blog about building a retaining wall by yourself. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's funny, but it's a true story. So check it out. Now, if you're in the Sacramento Bay Area, you can always hit us up. Description links are below for all our info. Appreciate that. Be sure to hit that like button again while you're down there. Everyone else, definitely appreciate you guys checking us out. If this is your first time, be sure to like us. Well, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then you'll be notified on any future projects. As always, hang around people who are positive. And remember, it's cool to ask for help. Catch you on the next one.